what can you guys talk about when it comes to the topic of of, of micro budgeting to scaling you know uh you know how do you make a budget work how do you analyze a budget how, how does that in your guys and this might be a little bit more your alley rachel yeah, I mean, um, I guess I'm going to use Sonia's video as an example. Mm -hmm. um, you know, our budget, we had a really minimal budget for that. But, you know, we wanted to approach it from, okay, what resources do we have? We knew we had a studio space. So that in itself, you know, shout out to Noel, who who runs Spacecraft Studios. He was really big and integral in helping us shoot there. Um, and then we figured out, okay, so, you know, we want to do something that's period piece related. We have a silent film inspired George Melies uh, concept that we had come up with. And Sonia was really great in giving us all these ideas about being a mermaid. And we're like, okay, mermaid video on a budget. How are we going to do this? How are we going to approach it? So a lot of our budget went to the costume. So the costume was handmade by myself. Um, the costume that Sonia's wearing uh, was just made out of stuff that you can find at any local craft store. Uh, Joann's, Michael's, we went there so many different times and they knew us by name by the time, every time we came in there. Um, you know, we, we use hot glue guns, you know, Danny did some sculpting. So that sea monster that you see in the video is made completely out of clay and did aluminum you do that? foil. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Damn, that's yeah. so tight. Yeah, and that's so that's, that's, that's how you budget. You do it yourself. Do it yourself. Yeah. Do it yourself. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. Really? But you guys are really, really see, but good that's, that's, what that's, you guys do. So. I would say that's something that stops I would call us normies, normies, yeah. regular people, because we don't have that kind of like technical ability to be able to create like an outfit or like a sculpture or something like that. Was that something that you grew up like already doing? Yeah, yeah. So okay. before I went and pursued film at UNLV, I, I was wanting to be a fashion designer since I was 10, 13 years old. So my grandmother taught me how to cross stitch um, and she taught me how to sew. And I've just, and I remember making bags when I was in high school, just like little bags for my friends, little tote bags and stuff like that, very small. And then when we, you know, coming up with the concept for the mermaid, I never made a mermaid outfit before. So I was like, I, I think I have a good concept. I, you know, I have a sewing machine, let's just go for it. And mm -hmm. Sonia was so great. She came over for multiple fittings and, you know, we have this little dinky bra top on her. She was totally down to just, you know, really jump in and, and go along with this. And yeah, it turned out really great. Oh, no, it looked amazing. It looked like something that I was like, oh, they, they, this is like a $10,000. What about video. the clay? So okay, have so. you been doing that? No, uh, that was my first time. What? Yeah. Um, it looks so tight. Uh, it was just a matter of uh, trial and error. Uh, the teeth were the toughest thing because they had to actually like fit together. But you can know, you draw? Yes. Good. I can, I can draw. Okay. Yeah. Cause I, I can tell like when certain things like just people have like a little bit more of a you know creative because like i can't draw for shit well, so originally I I <laughs> like yeah, shit. before i got into film i did want to be uh, an animator you know that, that oh, was kind okay. of my first passion was drawing and i wanted to work for disney and mm -hmm. um then i picked up a camera at like age eight and just never looked back started editing the summer before high school and during high school started working at uh, i worked at pbs for